What up, folks? Welcome back to UltraZilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Jack Pacific Godzilla King of the Monsters Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah Battle Pack. All right, my zillions, we are kicking off the Godzilla King of the Monsters parade with all of the Jack Pacific offerings. Well, not all of them, because they did re-release the giant uh, Godzilla from 2014. That is a straight-up re-release. Um, so if you come across that, be mindful. You, if you already have the old one, it is the exact same thing. Um, I don't have it, but I just never felt the need to have it. Uh, especially now that it's regular price again. If it goes on discount once again like the first one did, I, which I missed out on the first <laughs> time, um, then maybe I'll, I'll get it. So don't expect that one here. It's not in their normal display anyway that you're going to find at Walmart. These are all Walmart exclusive, at least for the time being. Um, sometimes exclusives are for a limited time. Um, but yeah, I, I picked up everything from um, the rack there. So please check out my unboxing video of all of that, you know, for my initial reactions. But let's kick things off here with King Ghidorah versus Godzilla, normal Godzilla here. This is the first of three battle packs, so let's get into it. All right, so Godzilla and Ghidorah come with one thing. All of these guys do. Um, this... Uh, looks to be Fenway Park destroyed. I believe there is a scene in Boston uh, in the movie. Um, so that, I think, is what is going on here. Uh, it comes on a little stand. Well, it doesn't come on a little stand, but it comes with a little standy. So it's kind of cool if you want to put it in the background of uh, your photography and stuff. It's just, it's just cardboard with a picture on it. But the picture looks pretty decent, so not bad at all. Taking a look at the little Godzilla, he is pretty cute. Um, uh, I, I dig it. It's a nice little Godzilla figure. It actually has a nice wash down the center there, you know, kind of like a gray wash. Got it on the legs as well. So that's pretty cool. And the texture is nice. Decent detail for a small figure. You can see all the spikes look good. Very nicely done all the way down to the tail. I, I really think the, the sculpt isn't bad. For a little figure, and you, you know, hope you like it because you're gonna see it three more times here, yeah. <laughs> two more times, uh, and and the big figure, which is pretty much the same. Uh, the mouth looks pretty okay. Um, no, I mean the paint is a little off on the mouth, but you know it's tiny, and you, you can see mistakes happening here. Make no mistake about it. There's a lot of leniency uh, in a review like this because uh, these are generally just like kids' toys. Um, you know, not that collectors can't get them, uh, but for sure, like, yeah, this is not like high level stuff. This battle pack goes for 10 bucks. Um, and you know, so saying like, this is like a five buck figure or 450 figure. If you want to split it like that and put a buck on the little standy, um, yeah, this works totally fine. Uh, this is done in a different plastic and a different color. Uh, which looks good, and all the texture is nice on it. So, yeah, this is cool. I do like the wash a lot. That is nice. So let's just get rid of the articulation, get rid of it. <laughs> let's not get rid of it completely, shall we? Head's on a swivel, arms are on a swivel, and legs are on a swivel. The tail has one swivel in it, in the, the mid-tail there. Oh, two swivels. I'm sorry. So two swivels for the tail. Um, so there you go. A few points of articulation there. Um, seven points of articulation, yeah. That, that's, that's doable for a little dude. So besides his teeth, I rather like this little guy. Now, King Ghidorah here was something I was hoping was going to come out pretty awesome. And I'm afraid I don't think it is. Um, mostly because the wings on mine at least, like, they're so heavy that, yeah. It just... It, it can't hold its weight up. No matter what I've done, however I posed it, um, yeah, no, I can't do it. And, like, the wings don't come down far enough to hold them up even. So, yeah, that's that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, not The only way he stands is if you put the wings up the way I had it. Uh, and then you really, you still got to finagle the posing 
So, but that's it. That's about all he can do. The wings are articulated. They are on hinges. I guess we're looking at that. The hinges are very obvious here. If you saw my toothless review from How to Train Your Dragon, it's the same exact concept, um, which doesn't look so great. Uh, I wish they integrated it more in Ghidorah's sculpt. I I'm finding it hard to believe that there's not a way to do that. Like, I, I would have sculpted this part further into his body. You know, like, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it costs more to do that, but... I don't know. It would have been good. Um, but yeah, they are hinged, a single hinge on both. The, le uh, the legs, the, well, we'll get the, the legs. The tails, two tails are both articulated. The legs are articulated. It's not like the legs are like loose or anything, you know? It's just very hard to hold up. And all the heads have one point of articulation. Uh, the middle one and uh, this one here on the right. Um, are at the base of the neck, and this one, oh, the head pops off. Um, that's what the, the little peg looks like inside. It's at the middle of the neck. So, yeah, that's the articulation on King Ghidorah. The sculpt isn't terrible. Like, if you see, like, the heads, they, you know, they look rather decent, um, I think. The eyes are picked out pretty decently. There's no other paint on the head except for that. But the sculpt work isn't the worst it could be. Um, so that's all right. <laughs> um, let's try to get a little more light on this. And, you know, sculpt work going down the neck is okay. Um, not so bad. You do see a black wash on it, uh, which is good. I, I do dig that. You know, at least there's something. Uh, and I think the wings are actually sculpted very, very nicely. You see, I, I think that's cool, uh, the way it's kind of like a little messed up on the edges. Um, very nicely done. Feels kind of real, which is good. You know, that's the back looks good except for these hinges here. The back of the wings look very good. You see the, the wash more on his back, um, which is nice. The tails look all right. Nothing, you know amazing or or bad to to say either way it looks fine and the legs are sculpted fine as well but it, it does the, i get this design does is not going to lend itself i'm going to assume that like every Ghidorah we get from any company is going to have some sort of problem with the standing it's just very very tough uh it depends on i guess it depends on how they position the the wings but yeah that's a bummer uh, but otherwise, it looks okay. If you have a little stand, you want to put them on flying, I think that's going to be the way to go. He does look kind of menacing like that. All right, let's kick off size comparisons uh, with their partners in crime, Rodan and Mothra. These are all from the same scale of figures, the, the battle packs. So you can see what, they're, what you'd be working with here if you just went with the battle packs. Here they are with a vault camera and an SH Monster Arts camera, a NECA Godzilla and a Bandai uh, America Godzilla, and a Deforms a Gypsy Avenger and a, a Mega Kaiju from Hero Cross. Let me lead off final thoughts uh, with this. My son woke up this morning, uh, found them all on the kitchen table, all open, because I opened them on the unboxing, and he went absolutely nuts. He loved them. He loved everything. He didn't love the, the big Godzilla, but uh, I guess that's like less play value there. Um, for a little kid that has a lot of smaller toys. I mean, he's got bigger toys too, but for some reason he didn't take to it. He really liked the, the little ones the best. He loved this Ghidorah, and he loves all the Godzillas, so that to me is very, very uh, telling and job well done uh, on Jax's part because that is the audience. For me, it's whatevs, you know, like, are they great? No, the quality is, is, is okay, <laughs> you know, like, for the price point. It's fine, you know, uh, you get a, a big Ghidorah and, well, not big, but you get a decent sized Ghidorah and a nice small Godzilla and they scale fine together. Um, I don't have a problem with it and Godzilla, I think, looks very nice. So Ghidorah has some issues, but that's it, you know, like, you could get around it. Look how cool he looks flying, so 
And a kid, I don't know. I don't know how much he'll care about that. He or she will care about that. Uh, my son didn't seem to, to mind it. So there you go, guys. That is my review. Hope you dug it. Stick around for more of these coming up soon. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.